with women's head basketball coach, Trisha Stafford on coach. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Would you like to make an open statement? Um, I just want to congratulate my players for, for coming to the epiphany or having an epiphany, understanding they can close games. Um, we can get stops and um, make our free throws when, it's, when, the, when the game's on the line. So I'm congratulating my seniors and everyone involved. I'm just excited for the win today. And you talk about the seniors, Paulina Freie led the game with 22 points, also had a double-double, another one this year. Seems like it's an every game thing for her. Zarya and Kishé both pitched in with 13 points. Talk about the senior class as well as Poi as well too, about the senior class and coaching them in this game is with them. This class has been great to coach. Um, they've helped me to grow because I've had to find ways um, to accommodate them in a sense because they're a little older, they're veterans. Um, some ways and some aspects they're stuck in their ways, but they've been coachable. They've been willing to do whatever we've asked as a staff to win. Um, prior to the game starting, we had a reception and I told parents that I'm most appreciative of them because um, they could have gone their separate ways, doing their separate things. I've had a couple of injuries. They could have called it quits. But Zaria in particular, she wanted to come back. Um, and she said, I want to come back to win. Paulina today was experiencing uh, playing without her mom. Something you know bad happened, and she found out right before the game. Uh, so our prayers go to her. Uh, Theong, I mean, she has been a warrior. Many injuries, um, <laughs> big injuries. And she's just fought and fought because she wants to use her gifts and talents for this team. And then Keisha White is amazing, a mom. She's just our energizer bunny. Uh, we try to keep her spirits lifted because she's so doggone hard on herself. But um, as a whole, I would not trade my senior class for anyone. Um, they know when it was time to win, and they have their teammates supporting them. And it's just a fun feeling. And you talk about closing out games in that fourth quarter. Everything started clicking, shooting 75% from the field. Uh, you shot 82% from the free throw line the whole game. Uh, talk about just closing it when it matters most. Well, that that's the sign of a, a team that, that is going through some maturation. And um, at the right time, the fact that we understood uh, Maryland Eastern Shore is a scrappy team. They fight. They shoot well. But they, they are – they're not the biggest team. They don't have the best size in the league. So I think the fact that my players were wise enough to take the ball inside, to stop shooting the open threes, um, that's what they were baiting us to do, and to be powerful and aggressive and get ourselves to the free throw line. And not only did we get there, but we knocked some free throws down today. And like I said, I didn't have to coach every single play because now I see that my players are recognizing the strengths of our team. They're, they're showing the confidence that they have in one another. And that's an awesome feeling. And you know, last game, you know, you've defeated a and in a close game. This one, another close game. Coming down to the MEAC tournament, talk about what you're seeing from this team moving forward to the next game as we wind the regular season down. Well, we, we still are thinking one game at a time. That's not cliche, it's the truth because every game brings its, its challenges. Every team in this MEAC um, haven't played Howard this year, but traditionally, you know, they've been a team that dominated us. Uh, we have the pieces in place, and, and as we see, I'm celebrating the maturity of our players. So as long as we take care of the basketball um, and we defend, I mean, there are some instances today where we didn't defend, they got to the paint and got some easy shots. But when we focus on being defensive stoppers, and control the rebounds, take care of the ball. We're a hard team to beat. We play TSO basketball, it looks pretty good. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.